What's up guys, it's Phantom Pete here with Vape News Now, VNN. Make sure to like us on Facebook and we'll like you back. Also check us out on Twitter and Instagram, as well as to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Alright, so today I'm excited to bring you an awesome review about the Pro Tank 2 from Kanger Tech. Um, here it is right here, just got it from a local store. This just came out. Um, they got it a few days ago. They got, uh, got a shipment of 10 in. Um, they only had two when I got there, so I had to pick one up. Really excited about it. Heard some good things about it. Um, so I'm going to break it down for you right now. We get the box here, and uh, let's walk through what we got here. All right, so let's take a look at the box here. We got the uh, Pro Tank 2, as you can see, Clear Atomizer Series. Beautiful box from Kanger Tech. On the back here, quick start guide. Kind of breaks down how to assemble it. Comes with the mouthpiece, the tube body, uh, two coil units. There's a 2.4 ohm and 1.8 ohm included, and then the connector piece with a QR code on the back. All right, so let's open her up. I've already broken the seal, couldn't resist, so it's not a true unboxing, but I'll still give you the breakdown. Comes with the manual here. Um, the good old bad English translations are still there. It says all parts is replaceable. Love it. Shows a little. Uh, Guy breaking it down for you. Um, it also gives little breakdowns for uh, the voltage you want to run it at, depending on what ohms the, um, the coil unit is. And uh, like I said, it comes with two coils on there. All right, so let's do a little breakdown of all the components of the Pro Tank 2. Um, this is where it really becomes good as far as all the parts are replaceable. Um, Kanger Tech is moving over to completely replaceable units. Um, this one comes with a drip tip, which is a big change for them. It comes with a connecting ring for the drip tip. A beautiful glass tube, it's Pyrex, seal ring, metal ring, of course you got the coil, you got two of those, and then the threaded base. Alright, so enough of the packaging, let's actually take a look at the Kanger Pro Tank 2. There's the beauty right there. Now right off the bat, you can tell it's a little bit different obviously from the Pro Tank 1. Number one right here, removable drip tip, excellent feature. Now you can throw on any of your custom pieces that you might be using already. Um, there's actually no glue used in this entire uh, manufacturing process, so it's healthier and also means all the parts are interchangeable and replaceable. If anything breaks, which it really shouldn't because they got Pyrex glass on here. So let's just keep breaking it down. Here's the top piece right here. Screws right out. Just like that right there. Here's the actual Pyrex glass. This is a real nice piece on here. Um, I mean, this is similar to some of the $50 units. Um, very sturdy. They're also coming out with colors I heard um, in the very near future. On the bottom piece on there, the screws right out. Alright, so let's just break down the six pieces here real quick. We got the threaded base, the bottom here. Got the coil. This is a 2.4 ohm coil. Got the drip tip connector ring right there. The actual drip tip. The glass tube, Pyrex glass, and we got the bottom bottom ring there, metal ring with the logo. All right, so let's put the protein tube back together. It's a 2.4 ohm coil, the bottom. All the fittings seem real nice on there. Threading is really good. Overall, it just feels like a really solid piece. Top the screws right in. There you go, drip tip. All right, so let's fill up the Pro Tank 2 with some juice here. This one you just fill up from the bottom. Just unscrew the base. Make sure it's tight back on there. I got some uh, 12 mil 6040 PG VG blend. Uh, lemonade flavored from local store here. Let's just fill it up. I don't like, I don't like to fill them all the way up. I need just a little bit in there. It's better to draw that way. All right, I'm gonna put it on an Evic. Got the uh, 1.3 firmware on here. Screw it right on. All right, so let's rip some clouds here with the uh, Pro Tank 2 on the Evic. Uh, right now it's reading 1.9 ohms. Um, you guys tell me in the comments if you guys are getting this 2 on there. It goes from 2.1 to 1.9 to 2.3. It's never actually showed 2.4 like it's supposed to. It might just be a problem with the Evic though. 
Um, I do have 1.3 firmware on here, so let me know other Ubiq users if you're getting the same thing. But anyways, here we go. Excellent draw, uh, really easy to pull on it. Um, I mean, the holes are great as they are. Um, I've, I've only had it for about three days, and you know, it's, it's, it's been working great. I do have a 60-40 blend on here. Uh, I'm running at 3.7, it's kind of like where I like to be for this one, but uh, really great performance. Um, excellent, excellent flavor. Um, grip tip is really, really, it feels real good in your mouth. All right, so let's rip it some more. Start off with a nice slow draw. Excellent vapor production, excellent flavor. And just see a hard faster on it. Still pretty easy to rip off it like that. You know, whatever your preference is. But overall, definitely recommend it. Works great. Uh, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna, this is gonna be my tank of choice right here. This is Phantom Pete signing off for Vape News Now. Be sure to like our video, subscribe to our channel, like us on Facebook, we'll like you back. Hit us up on Twitter and Instagram and we'll show you some love.